Hi, I'm Rachel. My husband Tom and I decided to try IVF after we'd been trying for a baby for a while. As part of my treatment, I've just been prescribed Ovidrel. It can feel like there's a lot going on and so much for you to remember, but don't worry. We'll go through how to use your pre-fill pen together. It is important to keep your pen in the fridge within the original packaging until you need to use it. Do not freeze the pen. You could take it out of the fridge half an hour before you want to inject to let it get to room temperature. That will make it a bit more comfortable when you inject. Check the expiry date on the pen and the box before using your Ovidrel. If the pen has expired, then please do not use it and contact your doctor. As well as watching this video, make sure you read the leaflet that comes in your pack with your pen and speak to your doctor or nurse if you have any questions. Before you get started, make sure you've washed your hands properly with soap and water. You'll also need to make sure you have all the things you need for your injection. The Ovidrel pre-filled pen, alcohol swab and a needle. Before you use the pen, take the pen cap off so you can take a close look at the solution in the drug reservoir. The solution should be clear with no particles in it. You must only use Ovidrel if the solution is clear and free of particles. If the solution isn't clear and particle free, speak to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist to get a new pen. OK, so mine looks fine. Check that the seal on the outer needle cap is intact. If it's damaged or loose, do not use the needle. Throw it away in a Sharps disposal container and get a new one. If you do need a new needle, contact your clinic or pharmacist. If the seal is all okay, simply peel it off. Then put the threaded end of the pen into the outer needle cap. Screw it in until it's firmly locked in place. Not too tight though, or it might be hard to take it off again. Hold your pen with the needle pointing upwards. Pull off the outer needle cap. Keep it handy, as you'll need it later. Before using your pen, you'll need to make sure there's no trapped air. To do this, look carefully at the reservoir holder. If you don't notice a large air bubble, the pre-filled pen is ready for use. An air bubble is large if it fills the tip of the reservoir holder when holding the pen with the needle pointing upwards. There may be some small air bubbles that stick to the inner wall of the reservoir left in the pen. Do not be concerned about them. They do not need to be removed. If you do see a large bubble, here's what to do. Gently turn the dose setting knob clockwise until you see a dot in the dose display window. If you pass this position, simply turn the dose setting knob back to the dot. Then take off the inner needle shield and hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards. Tap the reservoir gently with your finger so that any air bubbles rise up towards the needle, like this. With the needle still pointing upwards, slowly press the dose setting knob as far as it will go. You should be able to see a small drop of fluid, like this one, at the needle tip. This means that you've removed all the air and the pen is ready to use. If you still can't see a drop of fluid, you can repeat these steps once more. You may do this a maximum of two times. If this doesn't work, it's best to get a new pen from your pharmacist. Now we're ready to set the dose. Gently turn the dose setting knob clockwise. The dose display will show a straight line. Keep turning until you can read the number 250, but don't push or pull the dose setting knob while you're turning it. Right, you're ready to inject. Your doctor or nurse will have explained how and where on your body you should inject. Clean your skin with an alcohol swab in the place where you're going to inject and let the area air dry. Hold the pen with one hand and check once more that the number in the dose display reads 250. Remove the green inner needle shield carefully if you did not do it whilst removing air. Now slowly insert the entire needle into the skin. Push the dose setting knob right to the end with the needle still in your skin. Keep pressing the dose setting knob and hold the needle in your skin. 
pull the needle out of the skin while keeping the dose setting knob pressed down. Now the dose setting knob can be released. And that's it, done. Once you've finished your injection, check that the number in the dose window reads zero. This means you've given yourself a full dose. If it doesn't read zero, don't try to inject yourself again, but speak to your doctor or nurse. Now you've finished, hold the pen by the drug reservoir. Carefully put the outer needle cap onto the needle. Be careful not to prick yourself. Then grip the outer needle cap and unscrew the needle. Now put the pen cap back onto the pen. You can then throw away the pen and the cap with a used needle inside. It's best to put the used pen back into the box before you throw it away. Remember never to reuse or share needles. IVF can feel like a roller coaster and you might feel overwhelmed. But as you can see, using your Ovidrel pre filled pen can be quite easy. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your treatment journey.